everyone, it's Kathy Zilski for Simon Says Stamp, back with another installment of Easy with me, CZ. Today I'm going to tackle a really large die set, but create some really simple approaches for beautiful monochromatic blooms. Let's get into the card project. So here's a look at the products I'll be using today to create my card. Now this die set, Aurora Blooms, it has 31 dies. Okay, that's a really big die set. But here's the thing with a die set like this. You can take just a few blooms and you can make all kinds of different cards over time and really explore the set, but start out by keeping it simple. I want to make an encouragement card with this CZ Design Chin Up, and this is a word and shadow die. So I am going to take advantage of both because then I can have three areas of blooms poking out from behind my greeting. So what I want to do first is just pick a few simple blooms to work with. Now, if you look at the packaging from Aurora Dyes, it actually shows you all the blooms and how they go together. And I find that to be really helpful, especially if you're not sure about layering up this type of thing. Always refer to the package if we have a preview for Simon Says Stamp, and you can take a look and it will give you some ideas. So. I'm going to pull a few of these dies and some cardstock scraps, and then we'll get to die cutting. The next thing I do is I lay out my blooms based on what they look like in the packaging, and I'm not going to think about the greenery yet, so I am going to place these down and get some cardstock scraps. Now this is the time to pull out your scraps and, you know, put them to use. I keep a whole bin full of scraps little pieces that maybe I haven't used yet. And that way you can proceed with, you know, picking out colors to layer together. So I'll get all of my pieces in place and then I am going to, is that the lighter color? Yes. Go ahead and cut out a bunch of pieces. So this, this part takes a little time and a little planning but it's pretty easy to do once you get going and I am actually going to repeat colors in my bloom because I like to do sort of a monochromatic look. So you don't have to come up with every color under the sun. You can clearly and easily repeat and I will do a center also with just a little tiny scrap here. Oop, have it the wrong way, like that, okay. So I'll go ahead and get all of my blooms cut out in this order. We're starting with pinks, then I'll move into oranges and yellows, and then I think I'll move into some greens. So let me do all the cutting and I'll have all the pieces laid out. So now you can see I have all my die cuts laid out in front of me. And now comes the gluing time. And what I decided to do, I cut two shadow layers of the chin up just to give it a lot of a heft and dimension. I am going to be popping this up though because I want to be able to arrange my blooms to be tucking in underneath. But we'll do two shadow layers like this. Pick that up, press them together. This cardstock is Nina Classic Crest in the Solar White, the 110 pound. And one of the things that I find to be a little easier if you have trouble stacking die cuts, because I have two layers here and a Simon Says Stamp matte gold layer, sometimes I just start building on top of the shadow layer. I'll show you one. Where are my tweezers here? And I like to use liquid glue because if you use the liquid glue, you have a little bit of wiggle room, right? And that way, you can take your time and get it into place. So just a few dots all the way around and this glue dries clear. So if you know some oozes out, that's fine. You can even scrape some away with your little poke end. Uh, this is the place and pierce wand and it's great for that. So all I do here is I come and polish it down so that I can see that letter C is pretty much in the right place. The little A sender of chin, the H is in the right place. And then I repeat on the bottom. So that's how I like to stack sometimes on a shadow layer that has multiple pieces, like the words are separated. Because then, you know, you got, you got a little time. You got a little time to play. 
and it doesn't take too long and I think the dimension is worth it. All right, so pop that on there and get that lined up and press. And then don't ever forget the little dot over the eye, also known as the tittle, a silly word, but an integral part of the letter form. All right, I will glue the rest on, glue my flowers pieces together here, and then we'll get a note card ready for this project. Actually, I wanted to show you the other hot tip. Once you glue one layer down and I've already done the chin, then you can just put your dots of glue right on here and you don't need to hold the other word die cut awkwardly. You just put your glue on and then you just pop it right on your letter form like that. And then because you have the liquid glue, you can wiggle it into place. And like I said, if there's any extra glue that seeps out, you can just scrape along with the edge of your pick. Although I think I did a pretty good job here and that is a great way to clean up. All right, now I'll add the gold and we'll move on. One thing you can do is you can add a little dimension between layers and probably what I would do here is for this friend, I would use a few thin foam squares. I don't want to do a, a, a ton, but it is really fun to build up a little dimension on your flower. And here, you just take these off. And these are the thin foam squares from Simon Says Stamp. And the thing I love about this bloom, it really doesn't matter how you line this up. I mean, however you get it in there, I think it's going to look great. Go like, let's just do that, okay? Totally random and here I will probably do one well, let's do two I love using the tip of the Pearson place one for this because you can use it to take the backers off and lift the edge if you have a hard time getting those and it's great for picking up and placing but here again just kind of it's kind of willy-nilly in there but then I will glue these pieces directly on. So this flower has a little dimension and then a couple layers that are glued on. You can do this any way you like. The foam is a little extra, so you certainly don't have to, but get that little friend in there. And again, I just love the fact that it really doesn't matter how you place it in. It's gonna look cool, right? And the monochromatic colors make this so easy to put a pretty bloom together. So I'll add a little dimension in the same fashion, a little foam under there and there, and then we'll build our card. I've got a piece of 11 inch by four and a quarter, right? We're gonna score this right at five and a half to make a nice top folding USA2 note card. Fold that down. And I'll take my Teflon bone folder and give this a nice press. I'm going to tape this shut because it is such thick cardstock, which is one of the reasons it makes great card bases, but I want this to stay nice and flat while I'm figuring out my design. Now for the chin up, I am going to need some foam squares. Let me grab a thicker foam square from Simon Says Stamp. This has a slightly thicker loft and because of that, I can take this, just kind of place a few in for right now while I figure out what the actual layout is going to look like. So this will allow me to see where I can tuck in my flowers. Now it's just a matter of trying to figure out how to get the best look for my blooms. All right, we'll have one. I like the idea of the three. I just don't know yet where the best three is going to be. So. We may have one of our bigger blooms here, and we may have one here, but this is where you can just sort of play and kind of figure out how you want it to look. Now, I could do a little, a little greeny, maybe up in here, maybe a darker leaf tucked in from here. Let's see which way would that look good. Maybe coming out like that, and a smaller one up there. 
we'll play. And this is again, just where you play until you have it right. I kind of like this arrangement. I may need another lighter colored or darker colored here. Get you in there. And I might have to cut this a little. And that's the thing that's kind of fun too, is once you figure out where you're at, you can trim. So let's go ahead and start gluing these into place. I am going to pick this up, take the backers off, because if I place this first, then I can figure out the rest of it. So one of the things I like to do is I like to put a little liquid glue, just a bead on each foam square. The reason, it just gives me a tiny bit more time to place and wiggle something into place. Now, I will just pull this out for now and that up there and get this right in the center like that. Let's see here, I think that's good from side to side. And that's why I like that liquid glue. You can just kind of look and say, yeah, that looks good. And press. All right, let's see if we can overlap these two leaves a little like that okay hold that in place I may want to have these coming up out over there because I think that's I think that's cute like that you can use tape runner for this too works great whatever adhesive you have and go there so we'll have you right out there and again, just a little liquid glue on the back. And I like that this is coming out through there so that the leaves have a nice little area to tuck out and push. And I'll just hold that in place. Now come back over here, figure out the placement for this leaf. And again, I think I will push this one in first do a little liquid glue on the back. Okay, This is where tweezers can be helpful because it gets your hands out of the way and you can kind of see where you're going, right? So I can have that come in like that. It can go under that leaf. Have a little greenery tucking out there. Now, even though this is a little time consuming once you start arranging, and again, it always takes me a little time to figure out what the arrangement is going to be. It, it's just fun to play, right? And a set like this, you have so many blooms to play with and you can do, you can do a lot here with this. Now I'm going to cut this like that because I want this bloom and maybe this bloom. Oh, I like that. I'm changing it already. I don't even know what I had laying in there before but I do like the idea of a darker bloom and a lighter bloom. I think I had that orange flower down before. Well, you know what? This is what happens when you play. You just sort of say, I, I like that. Okay, pressing you in. Like that. Let's slide that in as well. So there can be a nice little overlap and press. And then I have two more little leaves down here that I can also work in if I like. But these are the bigger ones. I think I'm gonna cut two more smaller leaves for my bottom. Let me grab those real quick and we'll glue them together. All right, to finish this off, I'm actually gonna cut a little off of this piece so that I can have this not stick out quite as far. And you can kind of see, if sometimes if you're doing this and you get a really great idea, don't don't hesitate to take a picture, right? Because then you, you might not forget what you did, but I think I'm gonna go get right in there. It's a little hard to hold that down. Let me get my craft pick in here and just press that down inside there. There we go. But you can kind of forget, right? What, what you were doing like, like I did. And well, you know what? It's fine. It's all coming together. Okay. And I'm going to say you are going to go right here. That's going to go there. So we have a nice little repetition, maybe with a little greenery tucking like that. I'm just going to hold that down. 
and then you have a bloom laden card. Now, if you want, you can add a little shine. And what I would like to do, let's see, I'll get my other wand. The score and place wand is actually better for something like this because these little friends are a little harder to pick up. And then I'll get a smaller one up here. So three little pretty friends just sort of fill in that space down there. And I'll go ahead and glue these down again with the liquid glue. And boop, get over there. Sometimes with these, you want to pick them straight up boop, like that because they have a little more weight to them boop, than a sequin. And that's my finished card project. Again, we've got blooms that we kept actually very simple by monochromatic scraps, right? Red, orange, yellow, basically. Red is pink in this scenario. Working our way around a few gatherings of blooms. And again, starting out by just picking the three blooms, picking the colors, you can keep it simple, even though there's a lot going on on this cheery little card. Thanks so much for watching today. You can find links below in the YouTube description box, as well as see the blog post over on the Simon Says Stamp blog. If you're not a subscriber to the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel, change that today and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss the inspiration we share. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.